Okay, ready? This is like the behind the scenes. It's the making of the making of a podcast. So if you're being curious, like what goes into making an actual podcast? Well, this is it. Perfect, on the straight, yeah, yeah. That's our guy, that's Anders Varner, who we're about to interview. Colin, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you too. Well, actually, was in it, but I already got it. Oh, you pay my parking? There you go. Man. See, that's the ultimate in paying Thanks it forward. Thanks so much. So I'm this one, the orange one, moving our X. Cool. We're upstairs. Come on in. We'll give you a little tour here. Oh, there. Do you ever get any of the homeless people that want to come work out? They they stop in for sure. They like hear the music and they think it was like a party that everyone yeah. was invited to. Like, you gotta go, you're drunk. You wanna go on a retreat in the desert and not talk for three days? You wanna like, go on a Vipassana? I'll totally do that. <laughs> Let's go set up, man. I love it. Yeah. Basically, it's just you and your breath and your, and your thoughts, and then you train yourself to have less thoughts. This is our integrated wellness, and then this is our clinic. <laughs> Hello. So, this is how you do it. Screw on this biographer, and then we can put a different lens on it. Opens it up. It's almost like one of those fisheye zoom lenses. Get this guy. The majority of conversations, though, are pretty organic when they're in person, but I feel like having you prepared for the interview is always like a respectful thing for the guest, and also it just produces the best content. And yeah, we're definitely gonna need this light on. This is the back story of the podcast. All the gear. This is all the, the pieces that people don't see, typically, but we're going there. I'm feeling stoked at Movement RX Integrated Health with Anders Varner. Yeah. Like two Christmases ago, every present I got had a cord that came home with it. And I was like, I had an awesome Christmas, but now I have 15 different cords that yes. I have to keep track of in my life in order for all of this to work. I, I enjoy technology. Like technology is, you know, but we gotta make sure that it's, that it's the servant, not the master. You gotta do this, this is the, this is the backside. The most authentic bodybuilding type spot in town. We were the sixth CrossFit gym in all of San Diego. Oh, that feels kinda nice to say, doesn't it? It is so perfect timing to talk about yin and yang, how that applies to the fitness in general. Yeah. It's like, you just kind of get this thing, it's like, man, the barbell took me to this place. Like, that's incredible. You touched like the tip of the tip of the tip yeah, of the iceberg. Yeah, exactly. So, um, where can they go to learn more? Thelowbackfix.com, your movement prescription, Anders Varner. Come hang out with us. Come play. I know. Yeah, and that, long, dude. that was literally like the beginning of the journey. Uh, where I was like trying to connect with all the people that were doing what I thought was cool to find out like how do I go and attack the world next. Yeah. And you were part of that. So it's super cool. There's like a 360 thing going on here. Of, yeah. Like I finally, two plus years later, like have an idea of how this whole thing works and how I want to train and how I think other people should do it and it attracted people that I was originally trying to attract so it's awesome. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, thanks man. Yeah, man. Bye world. All right, that's a wrap, peace. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Hey, and we didn't get a parking ticket. That's even better. Hey bro, let me know about the IntelliSkin. If it fits, I can get you a different size. Hama, thanks again for today, exclamation point. So, That's my Siri voice. You don't have a Siri voice? Where why, you, why though? Because you tell Siri, because you have to speak like you're speaking to a computer. Like you don't, you wouldn't say, what up Siri, can you tell me uh, how to get to Fifth Street? She's gonna be like, 
uh, you want coconuts delivered? Like Siri doesn't understand if we're speaking in our normal voice, you have to use a computer voice to speak to Siri, dude. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows this.